what a great day we've had, right? Um, I've really enjoyed it. And I think one of the reasons that I've really enjoyed it is that I've had to do almost nothing today, until now. Um, and this is actually a bit of an unusual experience for me. I'm used to being quite busy during our events. So at Amani, we teach this thing about the difference between being on the balcony and being on the dance floor. And today for me was a day of being on the balcony, uh, just walking around, enjoying the various events, enjoying the participation. And uh, being here, being on the balcony, it triggered a memory for me. So next week is my birthday. And uh, <laughs> thank you. And uh, I was reminded of another birthday, a birthday eight years ago, um, when I was just a bit like consumed with the idea of what could be Amani Institute. And I decided not to go out or for drinks or celebrate, but I decided to stay home uh, by my window uh, in my apartment on my birthday and write the script for what would become the first video explaining Amani Institute. Now, those of you who are here in the morning probably saw the, our latest version of our explainer video, right? This was done by a professional, uh, one of our fellows, uh, Katya. Is Katya here somewhere? I think I saw her. There she is. So um, thank you, Katya. But eight years ago, we didn't have the resources to, to invite someone like Katya to do this. And so me, who had never knew nothing about making a video or filmmaking in any way, was spending my night of my birthday writing the script for this video. And of course, it was exciting, but it was also a little bit lonely, right? Uh, this is how I'm spending my birthday. Um, and if you had told me eight years ago that I would be standing here today in Sao Paulo, Brazil, a city I'd never even thought about visiting, being so proud of our team of 20 people who had created this event in partnership with Red Bull that was sold out three times over, I would have thought, you were crazy. No, I would probably just like have fainted or something, right? Um, so it's been, it's been really magical to, to, to be here for this. And I'm aware that I've told you a story that may sound like it's a story of dreams coming true, right? But the reality is that I actually wouldn't even have been able to dream this eight years ago. Things have changed so much. I'm also aware I've told you a story of success that makes it seem like success was a straight line. But we all know that success is not a straight line. Success has actually usually got a lot of loops and curves like this. And today is an event about success more being like loops and curves like this. And so today we've invited some amazing change makers from around the world to share their own stories of success like this. And as these change makers have seen, when you step up to change the world, when you step up to walk your talk, there are certain questions that you have to confront. What are the skills that it takes to do this? Can you actually learn creativity and problem solving? What is the personality that you require for this? Can you learn courage to overcome the obstacles? These are the questions that our speakers today have had to wrestle with, have had to confront, and have had to overcome. So today is an event about life in loops. It's about what really happens between the idea and the reality, between the plan and the implementation, between the vision and the impact. And I'm sure that many of you know that humans remember best through stories. It is through stories that we learn what we care about. It's through stories that we remember things. So our hope for you today is that you take away some of these powerful stories that you're going to hear today and take away what you learn from them.